Masters, thank you very much for clicking on this video. As you saw in the title, we're going to talk about some useful commands that you want to know if you're working with Playwright JavaScript or TypeScript. Let's start with the installation of Playwright. It is pretty simple. We're going to create a new folder in Visual Studio Code and I'm going to call this demo. Okay. Then I'm going to open my command line interface and let me go to uh, the folder that I just created, which is demo. Okay. Let me see. Demo. That's it. I'm going to clear the terminal and I'll be running the command that, uh, well, that I have in the repository. If you want to take a look at the repo, here you have all the commands that you need to know. Okay. I'm going to copy npm init playwright latest in the terminal and it is going to make the work for me. As you can see, we can choose between TypeScript and JavaScript. I'm going to choose JavaScript just for the test where I want to put my end-to-end -end tests if I need a uh, GitHub Actions workflow. And then it is asking me if you, I want to install Playwright over here. Uh, as you can see, it is going to start the installation automatically. And then we have a full project here with the basics uh, of Playwright uh, already in the, in the project. Okay, that's the first command that I wanted to show you. It's pretty simple, pretty straight, straightforward, but let's continue with the next one. There is a special command used in Playwright to install the browsers manually. And this is the one, mpx Playwright install Chromium Firefox and WebKit. This is the command that you need to use in your terminal to get the, the different browsers that you need in your project or in the CI CD working for your project. So you have to go to your uh, project and then execute MPX Playwright install Chromium, Firefox and WebKit. And it is going to install all the browsers that the Playwright needs to run in your computer. Please subscribe to the channel. I know that you're probably watching this video and you're not subscribed. So please go ahead and do it. It's free and it's going to help me a lot. There is another simple command that you need to know, guys. And it is basically the command MPX Playwright test. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it in my terminal. And basically it is going to work or actually it is going to execute all the tests that I have in my framework under the folder tests. Okay. As you can see, I have a couple of them automatically generated by the uh, Playwright uh, framework, and it is executing all of them in three different browsers. The reason of this is because in my playwright.config.js, I have three different projects, Chromium, Firefox, and WebKit, and it is using all the configurations that I have in this config file to run my tests. In future videos, we're going to take a look of all the configurations that we have here. But at the end, you can see in the terminal that the execution is working and 78 tests uh, passed uh, successfully. OK, let's continue with the next command. Did you know that Playwright has a UI mode like a test runner where we can execute our tests and see what is going on in the execution time? Well, this is the command MPX Playwright test uh, UI. Okay, so I'm going to open it. I'm going to show you how it works. Basically, it is going to open a UI mode like this one. Okay, and we have all the tests under this uh, bar over here. And we can run every single test and see what is going on in every single action. For instance, here we're going to create a new to-do. Okay, and we can check the different actions that are happening inside. For instance, a if I check the Chromium execution, you can see that it is going to go to the to-do's application. It is going to get the selector and it is going to type by some cheese. Okay. Then it's going to press enter and we're making sure that the, the, the to-do is added to the list. But basically this is the UI mode. It is going to be pretty useful if you're developing your scripts and you want to make sure that everything is working fine. There is another beautiful command and let's imagine that you only want to run one test in your framework. You don't want to run every single test inside. So you just have to specify that adding the path where your test is located. So as you can see, I'm going to use the same command MPX Playwright test, and then I'm going to let the framework know that I want to run under the folder tests, this particular spec file, demo to do app that spec.js. So it is going to only work or it is going to only run the demo to do app spec and it is going to ignore the example that expect.js. Basically, this is a simple way to let the framework know that you only want to run only single spec file. And that's beautiful. That's another trick that I wanted to show you. Let's imagine that you have a big framework and you want to run just a couple of spec files in your playwright framework. That's possible. And that's the command that I want to show you. It is going to be MPX Playwright test. As always, that's the basic command that you need to know. But then you're going to specify 
the path of the tests that you want to run uh, in, in sequentially, okay? So as you can see in this example, I'm gonna run mpx playwright test, and then I'm gonna specify the spec file number one and the spec file number two. And that's it, I'm gonna run it. And, and you're gonna see that it is gonna work perfectly fine. And I'm just telling playwright what I want to run specifically, and I can run a set of test files pretty easily. Masters, as you can see in my framework, I have the test spec file named example.spec.js. Let's imagine that I want to run all the example ex spec files that I have in my framework. How can I do it? Well, this is the command that you need to use. Basically, it's gonna be pretty useful and simple. MPX playwright test, and then the name of the, or yeah, the, the name of the spec file that you want to run. And it is example, and as you can see, it is working perfectly fine, and that's another simple way to run your tests in Playwright. Okay, masters, by default, Playwright is gonna execute our tests using a headless mode. There is a command that you can use if you want to see the execution of your tests in the browsers, in the UI, and it is the command mpx playwright test dash dash headed. It is gonna open the Chrome execution, the WebKit execution, and the Firefox execution, and you can see the uh, the progress of your test executions there. I'm gonna try to uh, show you pretty quick how it is happening so fast in my computer, but as you can see, that that's uh, that was a preview of the execution. It is happening so fast, but that's the command: mpx playwright test dash dash headed. That's a command that you need to know if you want to run your test in head. Masters, there is a way to choose a reporter when we're gonna execute our tests in Playwright, okay? It's pretty simple. We just have to add the flag reporter, and then we can choose between different options. For instance, in this case, I'm gonna use the list reporter. And as you can see in the console, we're gonna have like a beautiful list of the execution. Masters, there is a pretty simple way to debug our tests when we're using Playwright. And the way of how you can do it is using the flag dash dash debug, okay? I'm gonna run it in my console just to show you how it works, okay? I'm gonna run it, and as you can see, it's gonna open Chromium. That's the, the, the browser that I choose to open. Let me try to, well, kind of minimize this <laughs> so you can see it in my screen. And also, I have the Playwright Inspector here, and we can go line by line, seeing what is going on in the test and check why it is failing or not, okay? That's how you can debug in Playwright as well. It's pretty easy and you just have to use the flag dash dash debug. Masters, I want to let you know that Playwright has an inbuilt solution to get HTML reports for the test results. It's pretty easy to get the results and basically you just need to run the command mpx playwright test for instance to run all the tests that you have in your framework and then the, run the command mpx playwright show report. This is the command that you need to know. You're gonna well execute it in your terminal and then you have a beautiful HTML report with all the details, all the browsers that you used and inside of every single test, you're gonna see all the steps that were executed in the, in the test. I consider that it is also important to know the maintenance commands in Playwright. As you can see, let's imagine that you need to update your project to the latest version of Playwright. Well, this is the command, npm install dash d Playwright test latest. With this command, it is gonna check the dependency and it is gonna upgrade it if it is required. Let's imagine that you want to know what is the Playwright version that you are currently using in your project. Well, the command is pretty simple. It is mpx playwright dash dash version, and it is gonna return the version of your Playwright framework right now. There is a beautiful command that you need to know if you need to ask for help in Playwright, and it is mpx playwright test dash dash help, okay? So I'm gonna run it for you. I'm gonna clear my terminal here, and gonna I'm gonna run it. As you can see, you're gonna have a lot of options here to let you know what you can use and what you cannot use. It is gonna pre it's gonna be pretty useful if you don't remember something. Masters, I have created a repo for you if you wanna check out the different commands that I just showed you. Um, they are in different categories. Install Playwright. Here you have all the commands that you need to know. If you wanna know execution commands, here we here they are. If you wanna see the reports, you can see the command mpx Playwright show report. 
the maintenance commands that you also need to know and help commands. I'm going to try to update this as soon as we have more commands to show, but that's it for now. Thank you very much for watching this video until, un, until this point, and I hope that you can subscribe and hit the like button for support. Thank you very much, Master. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.